Ever since Google Ads released shopping campaigns in 2012, it fast became the most popular campaign type for e-commerce businesses, with Shopify reporting that over 60% of all paid ads are shopping campaign ads. However, this all drastically changed in 2022 when Google released Performance Max campaigns. And then further to that, when midway through 2022, Google removed smart shopping forcing everyone to go over to Performance Max campaigns. And what this meant was that e-commerce businesses that had been running 60% or in many cases, a lot higher than 60% of their ads on the shopping network were now having large amounts of spend going on all of Google Ads campaign network types. So along with their shopping ads, they were also seeing their ads on the search network, display network, Gmail, and YouTube. And because of the way that Performance Max campaigns function, many businesses were seeing their old shopping campaigns just not performing as well. With the sad fact of many businesses seeing declining revenue and increasing ad costs. And as you can understand, quite simply, that equation does not work. If you keep spending more money for less sales and less revenues, you're not gonna be in business for very long. But I wanna assure you that this is not the case for all businesses. For example, this e-commerce business saw a drastic increase in their performance. So they saw an increase in their ROAS and also a decrease in their acquisition costs when I incorporated this strategy, which I'm just about to take you through. So they started advertising in July, 2021, and their campaign was kind of going along, all okay. And then when they started to go over to Performance Max campaigns in and around here, you can see that they had a dip in their conversion value cost and an increase in their cost per conversion with their ROAS going down to 2.6 and their cost per conversion going up to $35, which was very, very dangerous because their product is only about a $60 to $70 product and it's just not sustainable. They need to be getting acquisition costs of at least under $20, but ideally under 15. And that's where they then reached out to me and then we implemented this strategy. And you can see from here, they very quickly started to see an increase in their ROAS and a decrease in their cost per conversion. All the time while seeing a spike in their total conversion value. And you can see from here throughout November and December, we were getting that benchmark that they needed with that acquisition cost of under $20. And they were also getting a ROAS score of above five. And even in December, getting that above a 6X. So they were getting over $6 in revenue for every dollar they spent in advertising. So right now, I wanna take you through the strategy that I've been implementing for e-commerce businesses like this one that have seen a drastic increase in their performance. And this is a strategy of using Performance Max and shopping campaigns together. Now I need to stress that you need to do this the right way because if you don't do this the right way, you will see an increase in your total cost without seeing any conversions at all in your shopping campaign. Because the last thing that you want is that you don't want your performance max and your shopping campaign competing for those same shopping ads. Now, after testing a lot of different Performance Max campaigns, and even currently I'm either managing or coaching different clients and agencies for a combined ad spend of close to a million dollars each and every month in Performance Max campaigns. So I'm able to take a lot of that broad range data and able to break down and see what's really happening. And at this stage in Performance Max, what we're finding is Performance Max campaigns are great for reaching out and finding new potential buyers for your product. Where it does fall down a little bit and where it doesn't perform the same as what was happening in a smart shopping campaign is that the one thing that smart shopping campaigns were really, really good at is continuing to remarket to that same person, especially when they went through and completed another search. It would increase the amount that you're willing to bid for that shopping ad to get that sale. So by rolling out this strategy of using Performance Max and shopping campaigns together, we're able to really leverage off the best performing part of Performance Max in that it's going out and finding new potential customers, but then add in that extra element of going through and remarketing with your shopping ads. So the strategy entails that additional to your core Performance Max campaigns, you wanna set up a supplementary shopping campaign. And in that supplementary shopping campaign, you wanna be making sure that it is only targeting the best performing audiences, along with your website visitors, 
cart abandoners and those product viewer pages. And then further to that, you also wanna have the feed priority set to high. And what we're doing here is that people are then initially interacting with your ads in the Performance Max campaign, and then when they go through and complete that secondary search, your shopping ad will be bumped up to the top. So right now, let me give you a breakdown of these results and show you the settings that you need to use. Let's go. So here's the results of these two campaigns. So you can see we've got our core Performance Max campaign and then our supplementary shopping campaign. Now, as you can see, the shopping campaign has a lot less spend and the reason for that is because we're using this core Performance Max campaign to really do a lot of the heavy lifting. And when we go over to the conversion metrics, as you can see here, our Performance Max campaign campaign, the cost per conversion is just under $27. But when we come down to our shopping campaign, this supplementary shopping campaign, it's under a third of the price at $7.84. And this conversion value cost is getting up to 13x, whereas the core performance max campaign is at 4.2. Now, as we continue to grow this campaign, because you can see through here, we've already got a search and press and share at just under 74%. So there's a little bit more that we can grow the spending on this campaign. But what we first need to do is to keep those impressions and clicks and website visitors going on in the core performance max campaign. So you can see that this strategy definitely does work. So what I want to do is I now want to show you the settings in the shopping campaign, because as I said, you need to to really make sure that you've set these up correctly. So let's go into this shopping campaign. We then want to go into, firstly, let's take you through the audiences. So what I want to show you through here is that within these audiences, it's a targeted campaign. So we're not doing observation, we're doing targeting. So we're saying we only want our ads to trigger for these different audiences. And as you can see, all of the impressions or clicks are coming from these audiences that we've added. And we've gone through and we added in these two audiences because they were the best performing across the account. And then we went through and added in our card abandoners, our similar audiences, and also our product viewers. So they're all the different audiences that we added. And then when you come into the settings, what you need to make sure is that this campaign priority, you need to have it set to high. So by default, it'll go to low, but you need to set it to high. And then what this will do is that this then means that when someone completes that search, we want the shopping feed ads to come from this shopping campaign not the Performance Max campaign. So if you need to increase the performance of your e-commerce campaigns, I recommend you implementing that strategy because I've been seeing great success across different accounts and different business niches. Now, underlying all of that, to make sure that you're seeing success with your Performance Max and your shopping campaigns in 2023, you also need to make sure that you're using the correct optimization strategy and process and schedule. And to help you with this, I wanna give you free access to my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And this is a checklist that I created after testing all of those different accounts because it lets you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads campaigns, those performance max and shopping campaigns, every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And to get your free copy right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you wanna learn more about how to correctly go about and optimize your performance max campaigns so that you can see increasing results, all you need to do is to go through and watch this video right here. Thank you again. See you next time.